Welcome to Math with Mrs. D. Today we are going to be reviewing how to do adding and subtracting of fractions with different denominators using the four square method. Let's get started. All right, remember that the first step you need to do is to draw yourself a four square. If you notice, the top of my two squares aren't as big as my bottom two squares. Um, just because I need more room down here. But you can make all of your squares the same size as if you are. All right, we're gonna start with our first one, which is 1 half plus 7 tenths. Remember, the first square is you write the problem. Do you remember what the second square is for? Remember, we can't add these denominators because they're different. So we have to find a way to make them the same. So we are going to find the least common multiple of those two numbers. So you make your M. Remember, you put your denominators at the top of your M. Let's find multiples, which is skip counting. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, we found it. So 10 is our new denominator. All right, we're getting ready for square three, which tends to be the hardest. First, you're gonna write your two original fractions up and down. Okay, to make it a little more clear for you, I'm gonna make our new fractions in a different color. So since we looked up here and we found that 10 was our new denominator, both of our fractions are both going to have 10 as their denominator. All right, let's start with this one since it's already a 10. Since these denominators are the same, then we can just copy our numerator over. That's an easy one. These are not the same. Remember the bunk beds. This two and this one needs to get the same amount of attention from their mom. So let's figure out how many twos it takes to make a 10. Oh, here we are, let's count it. One, two, three, four, five of them. So we're gonna give times five to the bottom because two times five makes 10. Remember, whatever you do for the kid in the bottom bunk, you gotta do for the kid in the top. Bunk. So we're going to times 5 on the top. 1 times 5 is 5. Now we have two fractions that have the same denominator, so we are now able to add them together. Our last box, 5 tenths plus 7 tenths equals, give you a second, 12 tenths. Now, did you notice that that was an improper fraction? We can't leave it that way. First, we're going to simplify it, then we'll change it into a mixed number. When we simplify, we have to use our factors. Here, the F and simplify and the F and factors. That means we need T charts. We're going to make t-charts for the 12 and the 10 in order to simplify. Remember to start with your best friend. Two and six. Good. Let's try three. Does three work? Yes, it does, three and four. And our next number would be four, so we know we're done. Let's do the factors for 10. Remember the BFFs, they have to be together, one and the number. One and 10, two and five. Does three work? Nope. Does four work? Four, eight, nope. And five is here, so we know we're done. Let's circle all of the common factors that we have. One, one, two, 
two. Is that it? That's it. So our greatest common factor is two, which means we need to divide our top and bottom by two. Same thing, whatever you do to the top, the bottom you have to do to the top. So how many twos made a 12? Go to your chart. Six. And how many twos made a 10? Five. It's kind of crowded up there. I'm going to write it down below. So I got the answer six fifths when I simplified. I can't leave it like six fifths, so I have to change it into a mixed number. One, two, three, four, five, six. I make one group of five, which is one whole, and I have one fifth left. One and one fifth is my final answer. Phew, that was a lot of work. All right, let's get ready for you to try one now. Get your board ready. Okay, here is your problem. 5 6 plus 17 twelfths. Go ahead and write it down if you haven't done it yet. All right, what's going to be our next step? Mmm. We need an M. Make an M. What numbers do we need to put on our M? 6 and 12 is correct. Okay. Pause the video and see if you can figure out what the least common multiple is. Did you find 12? Great. Now, do you remember what the next step is? I'll give you a hint. We need to do something and write something up and down. Try it. Pause your video. Did you get this? Remember we wrote the original fractions up and down. Now comes the tricky part. We need to change these denominators so that they both are 12s. I'm going to use a different color like last time so you can see it a little bit better. They both need to be 12. Oh, this is nice because this one's already a 12. So we don't have to do anything fancy for this one. Pause your video and see if you remember how to get this fraction to your new number. I'll give you a hint. You need to use your T-chart and think about the kids in the bunk beds. Is this what you were thinking? It took six twos or two sixes to get to 12. So whatever you do to the bottom, two kisses to the bottom, you gotta give two kisses to the kid in the top bunk. Five times two or two times five. What is that? 10 is correct. So now we have two fractions that have the same denominator. I'm gonna pause the video and you go ahead and recopy them over here. And I want you to try to see if you can simplify them after you add them. Add them first. Oh my goodness, did you get 27 twelfths like me? That's not only an improper fraction, but we also need to simplify it. Let's simplify and see if we can simplify it before we turn it into a mixed number. All right, so we have to think of factors for 27 and factors for 12. I would like you to pause the video and try to see if you can come up with the factors yourself. Did you come up with these? One in 27 and three in nine. One in 12, two in six, three in four. All right, our common denominators are one and three. So we're going to use, sorry, our common factors. So we're going to use our greatest common factor of three. We're going to divide, because remember when we simplify, we want to make it smaller. And when we divide, we make things smaller. 
When we multiply, we make things bigger. So use your T-chart. How many threes did it take to make a 27? Nine. And how many threes did it take to make a 12? Four. So now we have nine fourths, but we can't leave it like a bobblehead or an improper fraction. We need to turn it into a mixed number. All right, I'm going to make nine tally marks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to make a group of four and a group of four because it takes four to make a whole. And I have the answer of two holes and one left over, and my denominator is four. There's your answer. Phew. I hope you figured it out. Good job. Stay tuned, because next week, Math with Mrs. D, we're going to be doing adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Bye.